Hey everyone, welcome back to Suffering Chill. Yeah, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. It is time to go back to Westeros after the insanely amazing season three. The heartbreaking, the, the soul wrenching, the thought provoking, the anger inducing season three, where we saw lots of love, lots of happiness, lots of death. Lots of destruction and uh, lots of feelings of loneliness, but also feelings of wanting to murder. But there's lots of there's lots of feelings. Oh. Let's be moving on, uh, and I'm really excited for this. A lot of people have said that this season is one of their favourites. Episode one, season four, two swords. So yeah, season three as a whole was uh, was pretty phenomenal. Let's be honest, people. It um, it had kind of everything, uh, and I think season th three will always be remembered for the reigns of Castamere, uh, where we saw well as the the Red Wedding, as it is, uh, you know, worldly known now. Um, I've been able to look it up now. Um, yes, we saw the treachery of Walder Frey. Uh, to to rob um and Catelyn. brutal absolutely destroyed me um amazing though amazing writing um i bet people who read the books uh, this this came in my mind um i bet the people who read the books that knew that this was going to happen um, a lot of people said that this is where kind of the the birth of reaction videos came from because everybody knew who'd read the books that it was such a shock. People recorded the friends re reacting to it like on cell phones. And this is what gave people the idea for reaction videos. Wowza, eh? That's unbelievable. Uh, so I don't want, obviously I don't Google too much and don't watch too much because I don't want any spoilers for future episodes of Game of Thrones. My moderators and you do an unbelievably fantastic job of keeping me out of the loop, which is the main thing. I need these reactions and I want them to be... Uh, you know, full on. As much as it hurts, uh, I don't want any of the pain to be numbed. Um, so yeah, just a quick chat regarding how I feel about the the, the characters and stuff. A lot of people have been asking, um, you know, how was how do you feel from from the opening scenes and seeing them to where they are now? Um, Tyrion, you know, I think the first time we saw him, he was getting his little fella tickled. Uh, and he was like, he had this like weird look on his face. He was enjoying it a bit, and Rosalind was doing what she does best. And um, now you see kind of the character that he's developed into, uh, very kind of as a Lannister, but he's been brought up almost like a hated Lannister. So he's got all the wealth, all the um, all the privileges, so to speak, that come with being a Lannister. But he's also hated by his whole family, for mostly because. Um, it caused the death of his mo of his mum. Um, Cersei hates him because I think, and you know, that's the biggest joke of all that you were born and like, and we lost the mother. Um, dad hates him, and yeah, so he's been a little wretch. Goes off and uh, enjoys him himself a little bit too much. But he's become this character now that um, that I think's got a lot of longevity in this show. But then again, I, Jesus, I, I, I say that, but you, you just never know. But um, with the way he is with Sansa and and, and Shea, um yeah, I think there's uh, there's lots of stuff to go there. I think that's one of the big uh, the big kind of like it's, it's not one of the biggest kind of changes of how I like somebody because in effect I kind of like Tyrion quite quickly. The one person I hated um, who was kind of grown on me a little bit is Jimmy Lannister. Uh, the reason being is is because of because yes of what he did to Brandon was uh, was unbelievable. Um, and the fact that he's like, you know, I think how I've got to look at it is that in this kind of world and even the Romans, um, the, the used to, there was a habit of kind of sleeping with your brother and sister and stuff to keep the blood pure as they called it. Um, so it's not like a, a new tradition, 
Uh, so, but when we see, you know, that he's banging his sister, we kind of go, eh, because it's like, you know, it's purely alien to us. Well, to some of us, I don't know what you're still, you're in the, in the pleasure of your own homes, but it's, um, it's, 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 it's quite alien to, to, uh, to in, tw in the, the year 2023, um, to, to bang your sister. Uh, but when you look back at like this kind of world that they're living in, it was, wasn't relatively that bad. So yes. He pushed Brandon out the window, and and you know he st he went and killed a few people, and he was who he, he is, who he is, right? He stabbed the Mad King and all that shit. But it's just these last few episodes. I don't know whether they've done it on purpose, whether they've they've thought, well, you know, we're gonna we need to make Jamie a little bit more likable. But because of how much he's protected Brianna Tarth, it, that's to me is the it's it's kind of like I'm kind of endeared a little bit to him might just be me but yeah um also you know Cersei yes she's she's a crazy bitch and she's up with the brother but she's doing what she can to protect her family the realm she knows that Joffrey's a little bastard come on she knows that he's an evil little shitbox right but she's doing what she can as a mother to protect um yeah so I don't know whether I'm just giving... Yeah, I'm not really giving people a, while, like a, a chance here because, you know, I still think there's going to come a time when we, we have to pick sides here. Um, we've got Danny Lass is bringing an army. She's building people. She is building some army. And not only... It's not people that are going to fight for her out of, like, pressure or, um, like, if, out of, like like to be afraid they're not going to fight for that she, they're going to fight for her because they want to they want to fight for her the, that, that clip there of the last one with Misa and they're all shouting Misa Misa and she's up on like up and then everybody's just surrounding her that's love that's followed with them they they you know she's their queen and they'll protect her to the fucking death um not because they feel like they have to but because they want to which makes it makes them a very very dangerous kind of people they're unsullied apart from being unbelievably loyal they're with her because you know the free men but they're with her and they're a dangerous group i haven't really seen them lot go yet but i think when we see them go it's going to be impressive um i don't want to kind of go too much far because i just i just wanted a little bit talk over them obviously aya is brilliant you know we saw her coming into a run she killed that ladder uh, she killed that bloke in the last episode um straight down knife 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 so she's turning into a, a like a proper little assassin good I, I, I kind of hoped so because she's always been training with the swords and stuff i don't know where this relationship with her and the hounds going i don't know whether but what's going to happen now is he going to try you know is he going to take i think he's going to take it to the wall i don't know he has to drop her off somewhere that's going to wander the world wilds of uh, of Westeros with her. And, um, there, and then we saw the old Igrit shot her. Shot John a few times. I think she could have killed him. Um, yeah, I've, I was reading some comments and some people have mentioned, you know, she, she, she could have killed him. She's a really good archer, but she hit him in places that wouldn't. He said he loved her. And now, see, because I'm an old romantic after what's happened to Rob, I'm, I'm afraid to like this relationship. Even though I'm rooting for them now. But I'm afraid because someone will die. <laughs> this show, Jesus H. Cruised. Um, it's, I'm excited to see what happens in this one. Um, I think Joffrey is going to meet his end sooner or later. I said that in the last episode. It's just I think he's pushing his luck too much, and I think something's going to happen um, to to lose the little bastard. But I think it's about time. I think he's uh, he's psychotic, uh, a tyrant. And I think it's just a matter of time before some, somebody does something to him. That's personally. Uh, but apart from that, I'm just looking forward to getting back to it. Seeing how things progress in this season. Uh, thanks for listening. There was Rabbit on. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. All the love and support and the comments that you give us uh, with regards to this show have been unbelievable. Uh, I, I love reading them. And yeah, it's, it's been great. And I'm absolutely loving the show as well. I am. If you are enjoying the channel, you can hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I do put the full length reactions to Game of Thrones and other stuff over on the Patreon. I'll leave a link below if you want to go and watch that full length stuff. In the meantime, that's ladies and ladies and gentlemen, it's done West Ross. <laughs> that's all I have to say.
John was injured at the end of the last episode, wasn't he? Like, really injured. A grit had shot him. Oh! Is he melting it down into two swords? Is that why it's called two swords? It is Tywin. Fucking smell, smell, smell his beard from here. Yeah. Forging two swords from it, yeah. So what's the significance of this, you shit? I actually quite like Ty Tywin. It's really all about, um... Just keeping the family name. It's not about personal greed. It's not about personal personal glory. It's about the family. That's all he cares about. The family's name has to live on. I kind of respect that. And, um, yeah. I mean, I haven't spoke... Oh, shit. Greyjoy got his dick cut off. <laughs> and got sent to his mum... Sorry, to his dad and sister. Theon lost his little Theon. <laughs> mm. And that little fuck sticks Ram Ramsey Bolton. The Lannisters send their regards and stabbed him. Fuck him. Fuck him and fuck his son. Magnificent. Mm -hmm. He's been proper shaved up, hasn't he? It's forged. It is. It is. We've wanted one of these in the family for a long time. And now we have two. I am the king's hand. Oh, they were going to take you. Custody Rock as well. I don't expect to see the rock again before I die. I don't want Custody Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? Supper would be nice. Oh. I suppose you want the sword back. Keep it. A one-handed man with no family needs all the help he can get. I can see what Jamie's where he's coming from. He, you know, he's he, he's a soldier. His dad just wants him to go back to Castile Rock and rule, and that you can picture Jamie too, and that Cersei wouldn't have that. The Prince of Dawn we're waiting for, not one of your self sword friends. Oh, the Prince of Dawn. Here we are. Somebody's here. Right, let's see who this is. He's the Prince of Dawn. Prince Oberyn, to attend the royal wedding Ooh. instead. Where is Prince Oberyn? Arrived before dawn. He's already there. These fine men from the city watch will escort you to your court. Oh, the cheeky bastards. After such a long... I don't like them. Feeling their asses on the way past. Good lad. <gasps> it's Pedro! It's Pedro Pascal! I've just watched The Last of Us. I didn't know he was in this. Well, look at this one. <laughs> what? I'm afraid I'm not an offer, my lord. Everyone who works for Little Finger is an offer. Take off your clothes. He likes. He likes. He just likes a bit of everything. Come on, Pedro, son. <laughs> Weep o'er his hall. <gasps> someone doesn't. Oh, uh, someone's heard that song. He's gonna kill someone. Says, so if you follow me, I'll arrange for a private room. Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Oh. Bring him a shaved goat and a bottle of olive oil. <gasps> My God, you're dead. Do you know why all the world hates a Lannister? Your lions and your gold lions make you better than everyone. You're just a pink little man who's far too slow on the draw. There it is. You'll live if you get him help straight away. <laughs> they kind of deserved it, but he went looking for it. I like his character already. If there's anything I can do to make your stay at King's Landing. What are you, his hired killer? Yes. I started that way, I. Now I'm a knight. How did that come to pass? Killed the right people, I suppose. He'll respect that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need a few more girls. Yes? <laughs> Tyrion's right. going like that. And now, Bronze like. Huh? I've grown rather used to being the family insult. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. My sister Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen, the last dragon. Whoa. And beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. Ooh. It wasn't actually. They accepted. butchered those children. I've, re I've watched the law and all the shit now. I know my shit. Carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. You know what they did to her? The raptor. Gort gained the mountain, raped Elia, and split her in half with his great sword. I don't know what. If the mountain killed my sister, your father gave the order. And tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. Holy fuck, stick! He, there's, there's loads of shit gonna get caused here after this Oberyn, and he's hellish. <laughs> Whoa, Danny's looking good. <laughs> Hello. Oh my fucking god, it's huge. It's gonna get to a stage where she can ride, like fly with them sooner or later, isn't it? 
Jesus Christ, she's attractive. Well played. Oh, so there's one that's bigger than the others. Ooh! That's a turn up for the books. She got close to the scran. They can never be tamed. What? What's the prize to winning this stupid contest? What? The honor of riding by your side on the road to Marine. That honor goes to Sir Jorah and Sir Barristan, as neither of them kept me waiting this morning. What? What? Where's his fucking head? <laughs> Is that a fucking head transplant? <laughs> What's happened to the other kid? Need to eat something. I wonder why they've changed him out. I wonder why they got rid of the other block. Who played Dario? If I could have a moment alone with my wife. With my wife. She needs to eat. I can't let you starve. I swore to protect you. Oh, she's not happy. I knew this was coming. She's going to do something stupid. Thinking about how they died. They say they cut her throat to the bone and threw her body in the river. What happened to your family was a terrible crime. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. <laughs> she was a strong woman. Your mother would want you to carry on. You know it's true. I don't pray anymore. I don't pray. It's the only place I can go where people don't talk to me. Ooh, Sansa. She's totally like... And I can understand she's had a fucking terrible over these last few years. Do you know how long it's been? Of course I haven't forgotten. You need to relax. I think he needs to because she's going to do something stupid if he doesn't. It's not a good time. It's never a good time. I barely know her. She's a child. She despises me. She's going to do something like silly. And make me disappear. I don't know what you're talking about. He really should make her feel wanted because you've got to put yourself in her position. She's, um... Oh, there we go. That's it. That's, that's the start. Work of art. Really? I think I'd let that old lecture put his hands on me. This is the only time you ever see her real. I'm not when she's talking to Jamie. Oh, they smell like pies. It's like her twin brother. More than you used to. Well, I'm supposed to marry her brother. A renowned pillow biter, so you don't really... Plan on staying in the King's Guard, do you? Not now. I want. Not now. <laughs> I've been back for weeks. Everything's changed. You left me. This is real, Cersei. Alone. I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. Oh. <gasps> is she fucking them off? What are you saying? You told me to come at once if there was anything important. Yep, here we go. It's Shea. That's it. Shea's done. You plan on killing all the crows yourself? Your pretty crows had a thousand men on this thing there. Yeah, well, he's a liar. Shouldn't it be he was? <gasps> you said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. If that boy's still walking. It's because you want him to. It's because you let him go. Yes. That's what she did, because she loves him. She loves a bit of our John Snorsky. Men said you. Mm. Got some supper from a village down that way. Fat and lazy. Yep. I'll answer to Mans. I won't answer to you. Yes. I'm not anybody's. Ah, <laughs> yes, it's great. Too scrawny. Before you die, you really ought to try crow. The eight people. Whoa. Shit, man. Oh, yeah, and John's back here injured. Well, he's probably feeling a bit better now. They're ready for you. He's wanted to hang me for a while. Oh, shit. No one's going to hang you. You've done nothing wrong. You put your sword through a brother of the Night's Watch. He, does, he sacrificed himself. A bastard son of a traitor. What would you expect? He was my brother. And you'd know he'd do anything to defend the wall. He even talks like a wildling now. No, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. I did what I had to do. I lay with a wildling girl. Wow. He's being honest. To breaking your vows, then. Beheaded every ranger who lay with a girl. The wall would be manned <laughs> by headless men. <laughs> While we sit here debating which rules I broke, Mance Raider marches on the wall with an army of a hundred thousand. He's united the Thens, the Hornfoots, the Ice River clans. He has giants fighting for him. Giants. Yep, I've seen them. The fucking huge. 
There's a band of wildlings south of the wall already. The orders are to attack Castle Black from the south when Mance hits it from the north. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the north it's has ever truth. seen. It's truth, it's truthful. It's truthful. All the truth. And I killed three people and he did. And he killed the warg. Do you intend to execute me? We won't be taking your head today. Go back Johnson. to your post. Go on. Oh yes, John. He's got some stones on him now. And he got away with Neil and Ingrid. Good lad. No, no. You're a queen, not an ox. The wedding is in a fortnight, Grandmother. You can't say no to everything. Nonsense. My word. My lady. Whoa. My lady. Aren't you just marvellous? <laughs> Absolutely singular. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. I swear to you by all the gods. And the new. It was Stannis. He plunged his sword through Renly's heart and disappeared. One day, my lady, I will avenge our king. Joffrey is our king now. Oh. I meant no offence. And you've given none. She's very clever, Marjorie. All the king's god will be on duty. Look at him, man. What a prick. Stationed here. Just standing like that. The Marin will guard Lady Marjorie and Tommen. I've always guarded the king himself, my lord. Shut up, man. Oh, very good. I don't expect any trouble. People love their king. Oh. They know who keeps them fed. Marjorie Tyrell, I'd heard. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. No, you didn't. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. I was rather busy. Busy getting captured. <gasps> is the famous Book of Brothers. It's Arthur Dane. <laughs> the Sword of the Morning. <laughs> Led the attack on the Kingswood Brotherhood. Defeated the Smiling Knight in single combat. Sir Jamie Lannister. Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. For a 40-year-old knight with one hand. Oh, you're taking the piss now. I use my left hand now, Your Grace. Makes for more of a contest. Oh, he's a little fucking shit. Ah, there's not much there wrote about Jamie, is there? Oh, I tell you what, he's just he's just pissing everybody off, Joffrey. They say a thousand slaves died building the Great Pyramid of Marine. You think the Great Masters are worried? If they're smart, Your Grace. <laughs> and here's Dario with a new head. You were told to ride at the back of the train. But I need to speak to you about something important. As soon as she goes, they're gonna they're gonna neck on. The dusk rose. Would you like to walk at the back of the train instead of riding? The dusk rose tea eases fever. Everyone in Marine knows that. If you want them to follow you, you have to become a part of their world. Well, Strategy. that's clever. Harpy's gold. No tea from this one. Beautiful but poisonous. <laughs> Oh, that's going to get used, I think. Her grace. She wants a bit. Oh, whoa, what the shit? There's a kid on a fucking stick. There's one on every mile marker between here and Marine. I will see each and every one of their faces. It's a child? Remove her collar before you bury her. Oh my god, she's gonna kick off. Well, Arya Stark hasn't been seen since her father was killed. What do you think she is? And Sansa Stark is now Sansa Lannister. Look me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. <laughs> okay. I do like that friendship. Because it is a friendship now. Or a mutual respect, shall I say. Who the fuck? Someone walked and changed the music, which is always a bad sign. Don't do anything silly. Oh, there's somebody there. Somebody there. He's a fucking. Why is she on? Why is she on her own? Oh, that's him who drinks all the alcohol. You're drunk. Once I was a knight. And now I'm only a fool. The king's name day celebration. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I should have remembered. Anyone would have done the same. No. But only you did. You gave me my life. Oh, I thought he was going to try and hurt her, but he's not. It belonged to my mother. Oh. Uh, her mother before her. It's very, very kind of you, but I, I can't. I don't have anything else left. Let my name have one more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. Bless him. I'll wear it with pride, Sir Dunkers. <sighs> Fucking Joffrey's going to take it off. Burn it. And then make her eat it. There's another fucking foot hanging out there. Oh my god, I bet you stink. 
Little lady wants a pony. You're not very smart, are you? <laughs> You're fine with murdering little boys, but thieving is beneath you. Man's got to have a code. I'd be dead by nightfall without you. My family's gone. I've got no one. You've got an aunt in the Vale. Oh, right, he's going to take you to the Vale. Sell you to her. Five horses, five men. More than I feel like killing on an empty stomach. The small one. Oh, he's a dickhead. Oliver. He captured us and took us to Harrenhal. He's a dickhead who killed our kid. Killed Lommy. Yes, he did. The blonde haired kid, he stabbed him through the neck. F fucking dickhead. Oliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. I did the poor kid and he was going, Ugh, uh, and he fucking just ch and he chalked out. Oh, you get back. My brother gave me that sword. <gasps> back here. He killed my friend. Oh my god, this is gonna be trouble. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's too many of them. Fuck. She wants needle back. Yeah, he's a he's a right bell end him. I know you. He's talking to the hound. You're the hound. What are you doing up here? Just keeping the king's peace. Danish defeated at the <sighs> This, I, I like this. Oh. You spend enough time putting the hammer to people, you start to feel like a carpenter making chairs. She's all right. I've had better. <laughs> uh. You should come with us. I've had better. He's She's like a child. Oh, he's got something hidden away somewhere. You could do well for yourself. We certainly have been. He's going to tell him to fuck off, isn't he? These are the king's colours. <laughs> fuck the king. I knew that was coming. Shit. Fuck the king. I'll still take that chicken. We'll trade ya. One of our little chickens for one of yours. Don't think so, somehow. Likes them a bit broken in. <sighs> There's gonna be a fight. You're a talker. There's gonna be a fight. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. He's gonna take his drink. He's gonna put his sword out. Here we go. This is it. They're gonna go for it. My god, he's fucking rock hard, isn't he, the hound? I think I'll take two chickens. Oh, here we go. I understand that if any more words come pouring out your <laughs> mouth, <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat every fucking chicken in this room. Oh, here we go. He has. Oh, stinging. Oh my god, the hound's gonna have to kill everybody. What are you doing? Just chilling. Oh, he's getting hit. Are you gonna have to do something? Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's gonna sting tomorrow. Oh, goodbye. Neck. 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 <laughs> Bye. Yes. Go on, Aya. Ooh. Ooh. wrong with your leg boy oh <gasps> that's what he said i got to carry you oh she's is she gonna is she gonna stab him in the neck like he did i can't watch it but i can't i need to she's gonna stick it in his neck maybe i'll pick my teeth with it <laughs> oh, holy fuck oh. <laughs> oh she's smiling oh my god she's turned that was a real big pivotal moment that was a changing of the guard from my perspective of Arya. That was it. That was the moment that, like, she's now transcended into something much more dangerous. But in a good way. Like, not, not negative. It's all positive. <gasps> Whoa. Fucking... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. So, that end scene was phenomenal for a few reasons. Um, I think they did it on purpose. They've, um, I hated the way he killed that kid. When he killed her friend and he was like, um, because he'd, he'd hurt his leg, hadn't he? And he says, you're going to have to carry us. And then he went and stabbed him in the neck. And I thought that was really cold. Uh, and then that's how they got out of saying that, that Gendry, because uh, I said, oh, because he had a hold of his helmet, didn't he? And, they said, and she said, you've just killed him. But by the way she, he stabbed them in the neck, I was like, he's just a kid. Um, you know, maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. 
and then she I mean, she's already shown that she's got like uh, like no fear for stuff like that she's killed a couple of people already but there it was kind of like the way she did it it was very cold but very calculated um without emotion um yeah she's she's turning into a real badass but like yeah not in a negative way in a real positive way like she's all like i remember when melisandria was talking to her and she said and she like grabbed her and she's like i see like lots of eyes and lots of like that you send a lot of people to the grave and i think it's basically the the kind of showing now that she's gonna turn, not like as an assassin or anything but but she's turning into some kind of warrior um but that there was brilliant um when she got the big sword and she just kind of slowly went like that and then went round and like cut his leg and then went went round on mm, dude <laughs> oh my god the excitement is real i can feel it that was so good and even like um there she just got her own horse it was like he's just basically just kind of gone all right you just yeah you've kind of you know you've you've transcended what i thought of you as a little girl and you're not that you're not as little as you make out so you can have your own horse Mate, that was such a great show. That was that ending was brilliant. Um, I like the I like the first episode there. We got to see, we got to see Pedro Pascal, uh, who plays Oberyn, who's a prince. Um, obviously, we understand why um, the, the the you know the the animosity, shall I say, and you know that doesn't really kind of highlight the level of hate that they have for each other because we know their family history after reading after watching uh, the histories and law, we know exactly what happened. Um, with regards to his sister um, and uh, and it's just kind of like yeah was it sister I mean I'll, I'm, yeah I'm just rambling but I'll, I'll I need to like go back and listen to, to that but I'm just really enjoying um, how that kind of started off we introduced some new characters um, yeah the whole sheer situation is going to come to a head I knew it would but now that um, she should never have gone to the bedchamber to see Tyrion um, and then she's gone out and yeah she'd been spotted and we saw that she'd gone to see uh, Cersei the relationship between Cersei and Jamie's changed Cersei's like pissed off for them um, Jamie's definitely not he's looking a lot more vulnerable than he ever has through the show uh, for obvious reasons um, even his dad's kind of saying retire retire to Castle Rock but he's like nah nah don't want to um, I want to stay kind of a member of the King's God, but it, it, is it because he wants to stay a member of the King's God or with what he said to Cersei? Because he wants to, he wanted to be close to her, but she's kind of like, no, cold shoulder time. I do like it when they get together because you see, you kind of see Cersei for like the real Cersei, because it's her twin brother. It's almost kind of like the talking to it, like to herself, you know, the, the, the shared a womb. So it's kind of like, hearing her talk to him it's like that's as the real as real as you're going to get from cersei lannister um wow i just i love that first episode i thought it was brilliant great way to start season four um like i mentioned I, I don't i can't see joffrey being in this for much longer um i don't i just don't know what it is there's just i think he's running his end now um there's only so long you can keep a character like that in the show uh, he hasn't really done much over these last few episodes he turns up being a bit of a dick says certain things and I, and I think it's i think they're probably gonna in some way either replace him or he's gonna get whacked out um it's like the next big shock that's I'm, I'm putting that out there i think the next the next like you know like mic drop moments you get um the next mic drop moment for me i think is going to be like a death of joffrey might be wrong because i thought for a second there sansa was going to get it and not in a good way but yeah she was running up and obviously he gave her the necklace to wear to wear all right okay me and my mind's just going round and round but i love this show come on people that that was a great way to start season four um a lot of people have said that this is one of their favorites uh, so far um i have to agree it's been well not have to agree but it's it's been a very very good first season oh the dark the dragon turned on um on our danny lass got near the, the food and it went Rawr, as if to say hey and even like Jorah was like you know you, the dragons Carly you see you know you you know you, you, you know you're not the mother but she is the mother of dragons and then what happened to Dario's head do you me I know it's, it hasn't been that long but he's had a head transplant <laughs> so I wonder what happened to the to the actor 
did they have like a scheduling conflict or or did he say something he shouldn't have and uh, they've replaced him? I don't know. It's funny, Ian. Great way to start. Loved the episode. Thank you, everyone, as always, for being here, watching this with me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first season, uh, the first episode to the, to the season four, uh, as much as I did. I loved it. Um, I will put a playlist for those of you who are new down here, and I'll put a subscribe button up there. Turn your notifications on, follow along, and I'll, all that jazz. And I'll see you all very, very soon for episode two.